Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number one from the moles and molar mass unit. Question number one asks us to calculate the mass in grams of 2.89 times 10 to the 23 molecules of potassium bromide. So how do we even know before we begin how much mass one unit of KBr has or potassium bromide? Well, looking at the periodic table, we see that the molar mass of potassium is 39.098 grams per mole, and the molar mass of bromine is 79.904 grams per mole. So to find the molar mass of KBr, we can simply add those molar masses together, since there's one of each in one mole of KBr. And when we do that, we can find that one mole of KBr will be 119.002 grams per mole. But we weren't given moles, we were given molecules. So we're going to need to convert the molecules into moles so that we can use our molar mass to find the mass in grams. So we can do that by doing a conversion with Avogadro's number. We can start with our number of molecules. And multiply that by our conversion factor. We know that one mole is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules or units and this will be one mole of KBr in this case. And then simultaneously, we can also go ahead and find how much mass this will have by multiplying by the molar mass. So when we multiply across and then divide by Avogadro's number, we find that 2.89 times 10 to the 23 molecules of KBr will come out to 57.1 grams of KBr, or potassium bromide. And just real quickly, let's break this down. We started with molecules, but in order to use our molar mass, which is in grams per mole, we needed to convert molecules to moles. And to do that, we used Avogadro's number. Here. Then, once we had the amount of moles, we multiplied by our grams per mole ratio that we were given in the uh, from the periodic table to find how many grams we would have in the end based on the number of moles that we got. So it's good practice to go ahead and start doing these sorts of problems all in one, all in succession, because later down in the line, we're going to need to do many conversions at once, and it'll be a lot faster if you can do them in succession rather than doing one conversion, finding that value, taking that value and doing another conversion with that. So it's just a lot easier to get used to doing them all at once. And when you do that, you will find that the answer is 57.1 grams.